Hello, Brooks here with No Bullshit. Today we're back at CSUN's campus talking about voting. Let's see what the people had to say. Real quick, so today we're talking about voting. Okay. Voting's a pretty important issue. It's coming up with the midterm elections and stuff. Uh, let me get your guys' first thoughts. Uh, do you think voting's important? And uh, why do you think people should or shouldn't vote? Um, I definitely think voting's important. You should definitely, it's our right to be able to speak our minds and to be able to put forth our opinions. But I also think it's important to go to the booth because if you're strong about something and someone has their that backing or that position, then you can go and vote for them. And hopefully like the majority votes for them and you have your democracy has taken place. Good, good. Your thoughts? Well, I think it's important because a lot of people like tend to complain afterwards about a certain issue and they don't tend to go vote for it. Mm -hmm. So if you're having like an issue you really are like strongly for, I feel like you should vote for it instead of just waiting around and seeing what totally. other people do. Sure. Totally it's, like it's your voice. You yeah. know, exactly. you can't really and have you a complaint let it be heard. if you exactly. didn't vote. Exactly. Exactly. Like if you don't vote, then why are you complaining after the results? I don't that doesn't make sense. Sure. Sure. Well, I mean, voting is, you know, the vital part of democracy and sure. It just upsets me that not a lot of people, especially young people, don't go out and practice that, you know? Sure. That's my main thought. So you think it's important then, probably? Yeah, I mean, you live in a one of the best, I guess, countries dealing with de democracy. Cool. It's important because we got to look up to that person. He represents mm -hmm. um, Los Angeles, um, the United States, so voting is important. I feel like voting is very important, especially for people of the minority group, mm -hmm. because they like to feel, they like to say that um, our votes don't count, and people often think that our votes don't count. But what they don't know is the less that you speak up, the less that you will matter. So yeah. the more that you speak up, the more of a chance you have to have a say so in the change. And if you don't speak up, then you will never be able to. Um, you can't complain about it, and you can't disagree with it if you never did anything right. to try to change it. Yeah, yeah uh, your voice. all, all your voice voice in the counts. Government. And then, like, you know, people try and complain, like, oh, they don't take this into consideration. But you, by you having that mindset, it limits it. Because by you not going to go vote because you think this, oh, it's not going to matter, it's not going to matter. That just Every gives them, matters. yeah, it just gives them the okay. authority to do what's not, what you don't want done because you're not taking the initiative to do it. Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. Uh, well, I think voting is really important for people just because, like, it's a way to get your voices heard people and sure. pe people think it's like it's like you're just voting for president but you're also voting for like smaller things that affect you more so cool cool definitely vo definitely voting is important um i forgot who told me the other day i think it was patrick bailey he's he said um i think only like 20 percent of uh of college students vote which is pretty crazy to me so it's low yeah that's really yeah, low so i mean sure. the fact that whoever we vote for has a big impact on like college and like college students it's kind of crazy how only like only 20 percent like two-fifths mm -hmm. of us vote so it definitely it's very important to, to vote important to vote okay uh, your thoughts um Any? pretty pretty much the same as what he's saying okay. like based off what he's saying uh, i actually didn't know that only 20 percent of college students voted but that's kind of interesting to know and i feel like it really is uh, important to vote so yeah cool do you agree yeah i definitely agree definitely with um you know the government having like a lot of say in college like when, like when we speak about tuition and all that right. so us as students need to pretty much have a voice about like what the actions are in our government so we do need to vote and i think that's really important for us cool yeah. cool uh, yeah, I do. I think that a lot of people, um, especially celebrities, um, are using their power and influence to get people to vote because there has been an absence at the polls, um, especially during, um, what was it, um, one of the primary elections, I believe, for uh, this Obama's second term or uh, Obama's, uh, or um, the, the term uh, between, Hil the, the, sorry, the race between Hillary and Trump. Right. Um, okay. uh, I think that the main issue is the absence, yeah. So absence. more people should vote? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, and then a follow-up question. Have you guys voted before? Yes, I have. Yes. Yeah, okay. So was the was it recently? Is it the last election, 2016? I'm not going to lie. The last time I voted was the 2016. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Did you, you guys both vote for Trump? No. <laughs> <Just kidding>. oh. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> no. So uh, I, maybe you voted Hillary? Uh, no. Didn't. Bernie is the other one. I voted of, for I talked Bernie to some people voted Bernie. Yeah, I voted for Bernie. Okay, cool, cool. I have before. Um, it was which one was it? I did okay. vote for Bernie Sanders. Okay. But um, after that, I didn't vote. 
So the 2016 election er- time. Yeah. Okay. Before cool. the Clinton and Trump one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, right. Yeah, of yeah. course. We all know how that played out. We're going to win with every single facet. We're going to win so much, you may even get tired of winning. No, no I just turned 18. Yeah, I just yeah, turned 18 okay. this year. So but this year, so I am... first year, you can vote. Yeah, this is my yeah. first year. I'm able okay. legally to vote. So are you planning on vote? I know there's yeah. midterms mm-hmm. in a month or two, yeah, depending on where you are. Mm-hmm. Every vote is an option. It needs mm-hmm. to be voted because this president we got now is it has was to a go. mistake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was not supposed to happen. Okay, and yeah, you brought it up. So I'll go ahead and I had this question for later, but... Mm-hmm. Uh, Will you guys be voting for the President Trump in 2020? Oh, for no. him or against him? For, for oh, him? Against, against him? Against. No, because he doesn't against. support anything that I stand for. He doesn't even right. support anything that I look like. So I am not going to support anything that he does. I and totally so, agree. Yeah. Okay, so whoever runs against him, you'll yeah. vote yeah. for him. We'll have yeah. my vote. Okay, cool. And then it's not only that, it's like they mind boggle like they mind boggle you like they say these things to try and get you to vote for him and that's why donald trump won because he said all these things that people wanted like you know people wanted uh the immigration to be gone the things that he was saying like people went against that because they think oh he just gonna get them up out of here well no that's not true so you know the african americans or whatever you want to call them that didn't that, that don't like the people that's not supposed to be here they some of them did vote for him because mm-hmm. he they think he fin, they he finna get them up out of here when that's not true he's, and then building the wall it's not gonna happen. He's okay. found a way to not only brainwash the people of the not only brainwash the people who stand at the same level as him but to brainwash the people below him as well. He's mm-hmm. found a way to brainwash poor white people as well and make them think that oh together come together come stand with me vote for me and I will support you I will support you when really he doesn't even care about the poor at all Mm -hmm. he doesn't care about anyone poor you could be any color of the range he does not care he only cares about power money and himself and that Mm -hmm. is honestly true he doesn't even care about his own family have you guys voted before yes Uh, yes. yeah yeah what was the last election did you vote in the president one or something uh, yeah okay president. so we president. all voted for Trump we all did not vote for Trump okay okay last vote was the primaries uh, of 2016 um, okay. I don't uh, um, I, I, have to, I will admit as much as I say that uh, we people should vote more that I I usually just vote in the primaries and that's it um, uh, that's the last time I voted too was the election 2016 2016 so, yeah, election pretty fair pretty fair yeah Yeah. um but yeah you know i think that if uh uh, i definitely am uh uh, i definitely uh, am in accordance with uh those who say that uh if you want to make a change um in the political system whether you're whether you're for trump or against trump uh you should uh definitely go out there and vote for congress congressman okay um let's hope you're you're against trump let's hope you're against trump okay okay (laughs) yes then um back to uh more general voting question Mm -hmm. uh people are talking about the voting age recently Mm -hmm. right it's usually 18 Mm -hmm. obviously uh what do you guys think about the voting age because some people think maybe it should be raised up like that's too young to vote and then i've also talked to a few people that said they should lower it what are you guys thoughts i think it should stay where it is i mean you can enroll in the army if you're 18 so if you're going to fight for your our country then you should be able to vote and have a say in our country as well cool yeah, so like the same thing, like I feel like a lot of people are kind of questioning whether or not 18 year olds have like should have the right to vote, but I feel like they should because a lot of 18 year olds are caught up and they are like fighting for causes too out here. Okay, so 18 is good with both of yeah. you? Yeah. All right, cool. I think 18 would be a good um, place to start because okay. I think, on well, my like opinion, the younger generation, they have more knowledge than before. You know, mm-hmm. with internet and all that. Okay, so, so 18 is good. You, you yeah. think you just leave it there? I say, yeah, 18 is pretty good. Okay. I feel if anything, the age should be lowered, at least by a couple of years. Why? Because they start to prompt us and prompt us and prompt us to vote and vote and vote at like 15. They start, make sure you vote when you turn 18, make sure you vote when you turn 18. And who are you to tell me that at 15, I don't have the same or the right Mm -hmm. amount of knowledge to vote for a person that I want to see represent me? Because while I'm 15, 16, and 17, that person will still be representing me. So why do I still not have a say so? So Mm -hmm. you think it it should be lower? Yes. 15? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you hire it, hiring it will only 
the reason they want to make it higher is because they want to discourage as many people as possible to vote for what they don't want. Mm -hmm. And that is what the problem is. If you lower the voting age, a lot more people will be more encouraged to vote. Because I if I was 16 and I, saw, I registered to vote at 16. Mm -hmm. Once I was registered, I was ready to vote, but I couldn't because I wasn't 18 yet. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are like, well, I'm not going to vote anyway because they, I can't vote till I'm 18. I'm not going to wait till I'm 18. That's going to too long. You know, like long, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. And lowering it's like, it. Do you agree with lowering it? Yeah, I, have to do, I agree with lowering it because I feel like you don't know what my mindset is like. If I'm able to do certain things, I'm able to vote and I know what I want as a person and I know what is right and I know what is wrong. So mm -hmm. I feel like if I'm, if I know that I should be able to vote and my opinion should matter no matter what age I am. If I know it, then my opinion should matter to it. So 15, do you think lower than 15? Um, yeah, if you, like, yeah, yeah I think so, yeah. Something close to that. Yeah, yeah. in that range. Okay. Like, yeah, that range. Not too young, because at the same time we are young, we do see what is happening, mm -hmm. but I feel like you should have a good educational... 13, maybe, like yeah, high school, point. go to yeah. high school. You know, when you're okay. educated on it, you know okay. what you're standing for, and you know what you're voting for, because it's easy to manipulate children. It's easy right. to manipulate young minds. So mm -hmm. it would be easy to get a bunch of young... 13 year olds to get manip to be manipulated and vote for Trump mm -hmm. because they don't know. Mm -hmm. So 15, 16 is like a good age for me because at that point you start making your own decisions and you start thinking for yourself more and you start thinking more for what you want and not what they want you to want. Do you think it should go up or down or stay at 18? Uh, stay or it could go, I I'd be fine if it went to like 16 to be honest with you. Okay, I mean, maybe if, lower. If, if you can drive a car, right. then you could, I mean, you could drive like, I mean, if you drive a car, you could, you could vote. It isn't, you, there's not a certain age to be like informed of what's going on. Right. Um, so honestly, but definitely don't raise it. That's, that's definitely okay. the wrong move. Definitely. 18 or less, sounds 18 like. 18 or less. And then, uh, maybe 15? <laughs> possibly. Yeah. possibly. Like if you could drive. 15, 15 if you're smart. You got, right, you got a permit. You work. <laughs> right. So voter ID laws is another issue. Uh, currently, you don't need to have identification to vote. And some oh, people are pushing to have an ID to prove who you are, stuff like that. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on voter IDs? I actually just talked about this. Um, for the voter IDs, I feel like it shouldn't be because sometimes there are other like specific states where they tend to racial like racial profile and they make mm -hmm. them have three identifications and we actually just pass something where they're not allowed to do that. So I feel yeah. like we shouldn't have the IDs. I've heard of that too. I've heard yeah. of that too. Your thoughts? Um, I'm not opposed to voter IDs just because of the fact like if you do register for voting, it would be cool to just get a voter ID with it. So instead sure. of going through that long process, because I know when I vote, there's a long line, long process, and like to check off everyone's name and right. stuff, and find like what specific voting area you are. So if you have a card, it might just be quicker. Okay. Um, but I haven't seen like any problems without a voter ID as well, so I'm pretty neutral on that. Okay. I mean, I do know that some states abuse that law, because like in some states, like the minority groups can't have access to gaining an ID, okay. and that would like block it from going to the vote voting polls. I just. Uh, you need your ID for so many things. The fact that you could just walk in and vote. Like in California here, they don't ask you mm -hmm. um, for your ID, which I find crazy. When you, yeah. when you like you use your debit card to buy like $2 fries, you need your ID I get something. ID to go to the movies. Yeah. You know, it's like, like <laughs> crazy that a vote yeah. can just be cast without one. I'm actually going to disagree. I think that identification is not necessary just due to the fact that in certain areas, like finding identification is rather scarce than other populations. So like if that's still true, then those those populations that are have like less scare, like means of like, finding identification are not going to sure. be able to vote as much as That's, that's another side for sure. I've heard, um, and let me know what you think. Um, some people might say it's a, a racist or, or trying to get minorities not to vote because it's harder for them in certain places. I think maybe you were hinting at that. Yeah, that's true. Um, does do anybody that. think about what do you think about that? That's true. Yeah? yeah. Uh, definitely. Now that, that now that you brought up that point, then, then yeah, I mean, I probably would agree. I mean, probably identification is not very necessary. Okay. Because um, I know a lot of, like, immigrants and stuff are kind of scared to show their ID just because now nowadays, like, we're in the generation of, like, people are so scared to, you know, go out because of, like, yeah, ice yeah. and stuff like that. So like, you know, just like that kind of threatening people to like not be able to vote just because they kind of feel scared to leave their house or even yeah. go into like a polling place, then yeah. It's a touchy sure. subject, yeah, yeah. I honestly don't see that as a problem. Um, I think it would be pretty, pretty 
convenient to have one because I mean it's just like easier to keep track of who's voting what kind of voters they are okay um like if they're yeah, yeah so yes yeah so yes so my answer is yes. uh I don't agree uh, I believe that's just another systematic way to keep people from being quiet you know if uh, and it shows intimidation you know if you wouldn't be worried about minorities or you wouldn't be worried about IDs it would be because you know you're the major party. But I think at this point in time in, in, in our country, a lot of people are waking up, a lot of people are seeing certain things, and now the people in power want to stay in power, and the best way to stay in power is to prevent other people to even have a voice. Okay. So it sounds like you might think it's uh, discriminatory. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, they're discriminating. I think it's just regulation, No, they're discriminating honest. for the fact that if I keep you from even having a voice, if I keep you from even out preventing one vote, that means a lot and it goes a long way, you know? And for that fact, I think they're doing it for that same reason. I gotcha. And it's it's been out throughout history and through our education system that they prevent us to even have knowledge of what's going on. And that way they stay in power. Okay, great you answers. Know. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in to another Man on the Street interview. Hit that like button, and if we get 6,000 likes, we'll make another video. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time.